I have already created the admin guard so now I am going to create the middleware. You know there is a default middleware in the system. I am going to the app then HTTP middleware and you see uh, if I go to the kernel.php in the bottom you will see there is a auth middleware right. So similarly I am going to create a admin middleware here auth middleware is calling authenticate class that means this class this one. Now I am going to the terminal and php artisan then make middleware and my middleware name will be admin for example. So enter you will see a new file comes here that is admin.php and this is the admin middleware. In the kernel I will have to register the newly created middleware. So I am going to copy this line and after that I am going to paste it for example here that will be the admin middleware. So I call the name admin and this is the admin class. So this is the admin class and I give the name the middleware name is also admin. So in this admin middleware here you see there are uh, some default codes here right. So here in order to um, uh, use my middleware here I will have to do something I am going to remove the comments here okay. You see there is a handle uh, public function handle right. So in the top I am going to use one thing that is I am going to call the auth class that is auth okay. So if I use the use auth then what will be happened I can use the uh, auth guard checking here. So in the handle I am going to write before going to next actually middleware will tell me what to do. So uh, here return next means when a request will come in this place it will check if the existing user is admin or not. If he does not admin he will be redirected out from here and if he passes the system then he will be taken to the admin login page right. So this is the actually main thing to use here. So I am going uh, here to put a if condition and what I will write here in the if condition I will write if not auth. So auth guard is a system I can use in many places and this will be admin and here I will use the check right. You see that when I am going to write something some suggestions come here it is actually due to the github copilot this is a vs code extension if you would go to the extension you will see that there is a github copilot it is actually not free uh, you have to pay a little money for that uh, but this is very helpful. Uh, for example if I do not write anything you see if I start writing if the copilot understand what I am going to write here according to the language and according to research um, uh, my uh, previous codes he will automatically um, think that I am going to write the following code. So just use the tab then the codes will be executed here or uh, inserted here. So in then uh, but sometimes you will have to manually check if he writes the um, you know, right code or not because sometimes it may provide some wrong code. So become careful to use it but because uh, this is very um, useful and this will help you a lot. So if not auth I am going to check if the admin auth um, arrow then check function if not auth that means if admin login authentication failed then I will redirect the user to a route that is for example admin underscore login this route okay. And after um, sending the user to that route I can uh, show the user an error message that is for example error and here after error you see that github copilot is writing the code what can I write so just use tab you do not have permission to access this space okay that's good here this one is extra bracket okay so uh, here uh, you can give here you do not have permission to access this space or if you want you can also write please login first or anything you want you can give here then if everything is okay um, there is no error in this section then it will um, take the response to the 
next where you are going to hit uh, the request to, uh, to go so in that position you will go i hope you have understood the logic here what i have used